Hey guys, we are back for a part two of our 19 weeks out video. It's Monday today and I am here editing. And yeah, we're gonna try to get this out tonight, not too late, hopefully. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start that, um, eating some dinner. So we went over pretty much my macros, um, the fact that I'm just walking right now um, for the next week as well. 10,000 steps, hopefully I can get better at that. And then you guys got to meet Phoenix. <laughs> he's so sweet. I'll show you guys some more stuff that he's been up to lately. And um, yeah, and I'll show you some, uh, some of the meals I've been making. So we're gonna start this video out with me trying to get Phoenix used to a crate uh, because I am gonna be at work Thankfully, I did get a couple neighbors that are able to stop by and walk him for me. Um, so I'm gonna have to find something probably a little more permanent, but for now, they're, they've been really helping me out. And yeah, I'm just trying to get him used to his crate, so I'll leave him in there, I'll go for walks, he'll cry, uh, but I know that's all normal. Also working on his biting. Hey, hey, no biting, no bite, ow, ow, Phoenix watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to train your puppy to stop biting. So yeah, just learning all about puppies and just really enjoying him. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what Phoenix has been up to and uh, we'll check out some of my meals as well. All right, I see that you are in there and you're enjoying it. There we go, some light. Hi, what do you think? Do you like it in there? Yay, you're a good boy. He's crying. So bad. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes and I don't hear any crying. I think he's doing good. Okay, I'll turn the alarm off. What a good boy! <laughs> oh, I feel so bad leaving him, but I know it's good for him to learn to be away from me for a little bit. <laughs> so I'm walking to the grocery store and I also need to get steps in, so this is perfect. So my coach gave me an example meal plan. It's just for one day, but just to see how it, it fills up like all the macro requirements. So we're gonna go ahead and just follow that because I've been doing okay. I still haven't been meeting all the macros. It's just a little bit different than what I'm used to. This morning I was, what was it, 174.6. So almost four pounds down from my heaviest when we started this whole thing, which was 178. And it's been, you know, a few weeks now that I've just been trying to focus back on everything. Um, not working out has been difficult for me because usually it's like when you're all in, you know, you're all in. It's like you never really focus just on food and then workouts later. Like you always want to like just give it your all, but it's probably for the best to just focus on one thing at a time. So I do really like it now and, and appreciate the, the pace at which we're going because I know it can get so exciting that you want to just you know lose as much weight as possible but then it's not really sustainable either so I'm trusting the process trusting my coach and excited you know as things progress I know that it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna get harder and I'm gonna have to work out more so I'm really trying to just enjoy these days of just walking and be grateful that I don't have to sweat too much but hey I tell you what getting your steps in is pretty difficult like I I didn't realize how sedentary my job was I mean I always knew it was but being told that all you got to do is make 10,000 steps is harder than it sounds so that's why I'm walking to the grocery store now and I'm gonna try to just walk a lot more all right we are here at the store so I'm gonna go ahead and get a few ingredients and then we are headed back home to the pup so the sample meal plan has cottage cheese on it, but I don't like cottage cheese, so I tried to find something that was pretty similar in macros, and this uh, low-fat Greek yogurt uh, is pretty close, so I'm gonna use that instead. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make the breakfast here. We have egg whites, a whole egg, oatmeal, blueberries, and almond butter. So I've weighed out my egg whites, and then I have one whole egg there. I just kind of wrapped up the egg whites like a little omelet, and then I weighed out my berries. We're putting that on the weighed out oatmeal. And instead of the almond butter, I have the PB Fit Powder peanut butter. So we're gonna use that instead. And to meet the macros of the almond butter, which was only one tablespoon, for this I get to have two tablespoons, so that's pretty cool. It kind of feels like you're getting a little bit more. What's nice about the one whole egg is you still get a runny yolk. Phoenix and I are headed over to my friend Eve and her fiance Jesse's house and I'm also bringing some snacks with me so I can stay on track. The protein shake, the peanut butter, and the rice cake. So like most puppies, Phoenix likes to follow me around the house, but what I did not expect is him following me into the shower, which is now a uh, regular thing. All right, so it's the next morning and I made the same breakfast again, but this time I blended the egg whites, whole egg and oatmeal and then cooked it in a pan and just left it flat and it made kind of like a pancake. Um, it's a really great way to make breakfast a little more sweet with the peanut butter and the berries on top. And you can also add a replacement sugar to the mix and that helps sweeten the pancake as well. And here's another way of mixing things up instead of eating every snack by itself. I mixed a protein shake together with the yogurt the raspberries, I used mixed berries, and then instead of almonds, I used mixed nuts, but I just made it a shake with it and then kept the rice cake and peanut butter um, by itself. And then for my last two meals, the ground turkey, green beans, olive oil, and chicken, broccoli, and avocado, I just meal prepped those and then weighed out a couple containers so you guys can see uh, what the portions look like. All right, that is it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys uh, this weekend. <laughs> Bye.